Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Some of this video might be deja vu to some of you. I did a video on these watches, or some of the watches I'm going to show you, uh, back towards the beginning of the year. But due to some, let's say legal matters, <laughs> the video was removed voluntarily by me after uh, a trademark holder made a claim and I fully support trademark claims and we solved it amicably and here I am going to show you the watches again avoiding what I did last time and I want to show you two new styles uh, that grace the series so I'm naming the series of watches uh, as I have been with a lot of, with all the Islanders actually, I'm naming this one DPA. Uh, DPA stands for Deer Park Avenue, and where I grew up, Deer Park Avenue was a popular place for people to hang out with their cars. It might still be, though I may be a little old and I don't realize it anymore. So we will, we will be checking those out for my own, what am I wearing? For my own wrist check, I am wearing pre-ceramic Submariner. I opened the watch chest this morning and it was like, what should I wear today? And ironically, I'm not wearing an Islander on either wrist. So the Subby, uh, this is 2006, graces the right wrist. And on the left wrist, I am still, uh, I wore this in a prior video. I'm still sporting this Vinegar Spence. Uh, I really, man, I really enjoyed this watch. It's so, so thin. Um, under 11 millimeters, like 10.9, absolutely insane. Anyway, let's see what I've done with the DPA watches and the two new colorways that now grace the series. So here we go, a little bit of deja vu possibly for, uh, let's see, this guy, this guy, and this guy. These two are certainly new. We are looking at the Islander DPA series of watches. Uh, all five, usual stuff guys, all five, same. Same case, same specs, just differing in their colorway and in their strap. Um, so even though these three are existing and these two are new, I'm still going to go over all of them with a decent amount of detail. Um, so we'll pretend like we're starting from scratch because I'm sure some people missed the original video. Uh, so this is... Um, this is ISL 136, it was 135, 136, 137, and then 163, 164. But again, they'll be, they will obviously be a link down below and you can go and check them out. They're all 199, no matter which colorway you select. So it runs on an NH36 movement, which hand winds, hacks, uh, 40 hours of power reserve. And of course, I put a screw down crown on them. So you pull out the crown, pull it out, one click, one way will change the day, and the other way will change the date. So I guess one of the big things about this watch is the day-date configuration. The date is on the right, the date is on, yeah, yeah, the day is on the left. Special day wheel that we printed to make it kind of look like, I guess like headlights, like little grill marks, um, looks really, really cool. A uh, 40 millimeter diameter case. It is 13 thick to a slightly domed sapphire crystal. You can see the dome there. It's 47 and a half on the lug tip to lug tip. This watch sa shares the same case as the ISL 54 um, and also the mother of pearl uh, ISL 133 and actually the 134 as well. So. If you know what those cases are, we're sharing the same case here. It's kind of doing double duty. Exhibition uh, screw down case back, sapphire glass on the case back. I like to make that note because we do kind of go the extra, I won't say the extra mile, but maybe the extra couple yards <laughs> to put sapphire on the back uh, and not skimp out and do mineral. On the periphery, you'll see the etching of sapphire, 100 meter Islander, and then the logo. The logo is also on the crown. It is a 20 millimeter lug. They come on these rally inspired straps, leather straps with the holes, um, branded buckle. Um, but it's a very soft strap. See, very supple as I kind of move it. I'm sorry, I think I'm messing with the focus. Sorry about that. Uh, it's a very soft, supple strap, not overly thick, but different colors. There's a light brown, a dark brown, and a black to kind of match each watch's motif. 
The weight is 84 grams. The loom, which we'll do at the end, is really cool. It's BGW9. It's filling in the 30, the 60, the markers. Um, let's come up a little bit on the dial, as close as we can get. Uh, it's going to be about it. You can see at the top, 21.6, um, which is a nod to the beat rate of the movement. Uh, beats per hour is just to the right of the logo. Inner track of military time or 24-hour time. And then the outer track has the fine tick marks. Really, really looks nice. Uh, so this is one of them. Uh, let's go to, in no particular order, here's a green and yellow version. I think the green's coming out. Again, on the viewfinder, not always easy for me, so I will temporarily just bump up the ISO a bit just to make sure we're covering it. This comes on a dark brown strap, yellow accents. Everything else about the watch is the same, the day and date window, the applied numerals, applied markers. Really cool looking. Nice, okay, so that's two. The third one, white dial, white with red and blue. Again with the silver. This guy's got blue hands filled with loom. The green dial had silver hands and, and the, the other blue dial you saw also had silver hands. This one's got offset, uh, offset color with blue hands. Works really nice with the watch. It's on a black strap. We paired it black to kind of help it pop a little bit more. Definitely not an Islander style watch that most people are used to. Oh, by the way, I should probably definitely should mention all of these dials were designed by Marvin Menke of Hemel. Um, he uh, expressed an interest in designing a dial for the brand. He's doing more dials, actually, in some other, some other Islanders. Um, I think he did a wonderful job, totally non-Islander. Um, I guess, you know, kind of breaks out of the mold a little bit. So now here's the two new styles. This is black and gold. Okay, it is yellow gold, so the hands are gold, the grill is gold, the markers are gold, the applied indices are gold, the strap is black, uh, it's a silver buckle. I did not want to do gold on the buckle, I thought that was just a little bit too much, and the crown is silver as well. Let's see if we can, I'll kind of bounce it against a, uh, there's a white card here, so if I bounce it against the white cards, you should be able to see the white reflection showing the gold. You should make cameras white <laughs> for macro work. That way you don't have to worry about uh, reflections. But that looks pretty good, right? And then the last one I want to show you, the other new one. Like, uh, these are models like ISL 163 and or 164. Is a red and yellow. Silver hands, silver indices, cool accents. Everything pops and works. Someone mentioned to me, it was kind of funny, it didn't occur to me, <laughs> I probably shouldn't even mention it. Uh, it reminds them of the McDonald's colors, and it really does. Um, but it's not supposed to be. Uh, it looks nice. This was paired on a, uh, a dark brown strap. Looks cool. So let's, um, let's try it on. Actually, let's do the loom, and, uh, and then we'll try it on. So it is BGW9, the numbers, whoops, my finger was in the way, sorry about that. The numbers, the indices, and the loom even comes out from behind the grill on the day and the date. Looks, it looks awesome, it's such a good look. It's a great look in the day, obviously, uh, but it really, it really looks sharp at night, especially that it's BGW9, it's nice and cool blue. So here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist, it fits me great. The strap is so, like I said, it's thin, but don't associate thin with being garbage quality. Obviously, it's, it's not a $50 strap by any stretch of the imagination. I would say if I sold the strap by itself, it's probably a, a $15 or $20 strap, but it's very comfortable as I bend my wrist and try to crack it in half. Looks nice, really sharp. So I think that's uh, where we're gonna wrap it up. This has been Mark. Yes, I'm Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, showing you some new Islander DPA models and the older ones as well since the video poof, disappeared.
disappeared a while back. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, queries, anything not relating to the original video disappearing, please put it down below and I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.